Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Leo. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at the energies of how the person who is on your mind is feeling about you right now. What they could be thinking about you and intending in the future. Could be somebody connected to you, somebody coming towards you, somebody that you are specifically thinking about. I'm going to go ahead and start with one card from this deck. This is a deck that I have created with a channeled love message for every single card in the tarot. Could give you an idea about what this person could be thinking and feeling that maybe they haven't said yet. Wow, I believe this is a destined connection. We can work this out, justice. Very interesting energy because the justice energy is balance. It is, you know, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the way what we put out comes back to us. Libra energy could be significant. It is ruled by Venus. It has lots to do with relationships and the way that what we attract in tends to be a reflection of what is going on inside of us. Now, somebody could be feeling for you something that maybe you're also feeling for them that maybe you don't even know or realize yet. Or you could be attracting somebody towards you. The energy of that particular card saying that we can work something out could mean that maybe, you know, there has been a miscommunication or a little bit of quiet or something and something needs to be made clear. Or something needs to be worked out. I noticed right when I stopped shuffling, I saw the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Gemini energy could be significant. Could be two people that are feeling drawn, like an irresistible, undeniable connection to one another, even though maybe you haven't expressed that yet, or maybe you are dealing with some sort of, you know, challenge or difficulty. There's something about this that this person does feel like the two of you met for a reason. And I do feel like they're extremely drawn to you. You. So let's go ahead and see what else we can find out. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is this person thinking overall about Leo and this connection with them? What are they feeling in their heart space for Leo? What do they like best? What do they like best about Leo and this connection with them? What don't they like as much? What don't they like as much? Well, what are their highest hopes? Okay, like a bunch of cards, too many to take just came out, but I am going to go ahead. I did take a glance at them. I will take it all into mind, but go ahead and see if we can just get one. What are their highest hopes when it comes to this connection with Leo? And what are their deepest fears? What are the deepest fears? What are the deepest fears? Now we're going to get three cards for what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. I'm going to lay those face down over here, and we will look at them together at the end. I do have to say we have the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. And Eight of Cups here right behind it was kind of peeking out. Sagittarius, Pisces energy. We got a Four of Cups and an Ace of Cups. It feels like a lot of mixed feelings. Somebody could even be afraid to get their hopes up here or maybe like they missed an opportunity. Um, somebody could have gotten quiet, could have pulled away. This could be somebody with this Ten of Wands that maybe has been carrying feelings the way this Ace of Cups is peeking out, maybe for longer than you know. Could also have a lot going on, a lot of their plate, Sagittarius energy, and then with all those cups energy, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. I feel like the feelings keep coming up, regardless of whatever is going on. Like this person could feel a little overwhelmed with some things going on in their life, but it's almost like something keeps drawing them to you. So heart of the matter here, we have the five of cups. Definitely somebody who's a little discouraged. Scorpio energy could be significant. This is somebody who is looking at some things that have spilled, some things that haven't worked out. They're feeling disappointed. They're feeling discouraged. And yet they're not seeing the potential of these two cups that are still standing. Maybe the potential of this connection, even if there has been a difficulty or a challenge, or maybe the potential of new love if something hasn't worked out in the past, whatever the case is. I do feel like they want to face their emotions the way you kind of they're kind of looking out on the water and seeing the castle here which for me represents the connection and everything but it is somebody who's feeling discouraged because something just hasn't gone the way that they hoped or expected and they might not even know if they have a chance could be somebody thinking very deeply about you but maybe afraid to even say a word about it like it's almost like a little bit of a gloomy energy like is this even possible what do i do you know um Let's go ahead and see. 
and that one just jumped out right from the middle there. Ten of Cups, okay. And it's interesting, right as I said, like this gloomy energy that could have been things that happened in their past before they even met you. And now with this Ten of Cups, I don't know, it's like they're around you, they're seeing you, and they're feeling like maybe this could be something. But there is a part of them that almost doesn't like dare hope on some level, and yet they continue to want to. We do have the Empress on the bottom of the deck here. Taurus Libra energy could be significant with, with the Ten of Cups and the Empress here on the bottom of the deck. And I do apologize. I have to cover these. My, my, some of my readings have been getting little warnings for nudity and tarot cards. And I love these cards. I love it. I hate to cover it up. But anyway, I do apologize. But with the Empress on the bottom of the deck, there's definitely something about this person having some sort of realization. Like you could absolutely be it. You could be the one. They feel like with this Ten of Cups, the two of you could have something very happy together. And yet on some level, they've lost hope a little bit. And yet you don't have the Ten of Cups and it's here showing up twice. If there isn't still a part of them that thinks, you know what, maybe this can come together. Maybe this can work out regardless of what they've been through in the past. Maybe this, you know, new step that they want to take with you could be like a game changer. Maybe you and this connection could be what they've been hoping for. We've got the Ten of Cups and what they're feeling in their heart space. More Pisces energy could be significant, but this is somebody I feel like just sees you, sees you as the one, and they do want to be happy with you. They feel like, feel like you know, you could be what they've been hoping for, what they've been waiting for. The two of you could share so much. Spirit, why do we have the Ten of Cups? And honestly, this is the Cups placement in the heart reading, in the heart space, like it's the Cups placement in the reading. And it is, you know, with Cups energy showing up there, it is somebody for me that is embracing their feelings. And yet, interesting, we have Six of Swords. And it's right as I started to talk about feelings like this whole time with this reading, I feel like, like I've been a little bit tongue-tied, a little bit second-guessing myself, which I don't knew, normally ever do in readings. I feel like it's this like energy you know with that I'm picking up on like do you see like I almost started the reading over a couple times because I just felt like I was tripping on my words but I think it's it's almost like there's a little bit of a tug of war going on in this person we've got that ten of cups clarified by the six of swords Aquarius energy could be significant they feel like the two of you could be really happy I feel like they want to make peace they want to move towards peace they want to put challenges difficulties any kind of drama that they've dealt with once again between you the two of you or in some other situation they want to put in the past but at times the six of swords coming up in this placement can be somebody who's having a lot of feelings but trying not to think too hard about it because there's something to them about love and connections that brings up a lot of mixed feelings and it's like they want things to be easy they want things to be peaceful and yet there's something about you in this connection that shakes their world up a little bit I don't feel like that's a bad thing when you fall in love with somebody especially if you're not expecting or planning or if there's challenges like differences between you and your worlds and things like that you know it does sometimes turn your life upside down I mean I fell for somebody, we didn't even speak the same language. I wasn't ready for a relationship and to even spend time together, and this is my partner, and this was years and years ago, um, we first met, like I didn't even have time, like he didn't either, like our lives were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we probably attracted each other because we were in a similar energy, kind of like that justice energy that we saw at the beginning. Maybe both of you do have a lot going on and you're drawn to each other and you don't really know how to make it work. But it turned my world upside down because I had these feelings that were so undeniable. It was like I had to explore it. I had to make the time. I had to get out of my shell and just make it happen. And what they like best about you is the tower, which is very interesting because there's something about this that has maybe turned their whole world upside down but there's something about that that they like. They like the change that you've brought, even if it's like a shakeup. Now, this um, tower energy is a little bit different than the traditional because these are two people that are falling together. Maybe there has been some sort of shakeup. Maybe there's been some sort of difficulty. Maybe you've gone through something or they've gone through something. Maybe the two of you have been supportive to each other. Maybe both of you have been through some difficult things and you found each other and you're kind of bonding because of that. And they're feeling like you are that person when their whole world turns upside down that, you know, is there, that is kind 
kind. It's a kind of a friendship energy here, but I feel like it's somebody who definitely wants so much more with the Ten of Cups showing up twice. Spirit, why do we have this tower? Aries and Scorpio energy could be significant. And what they like best about Leo, we've got the Fool, and look at this, the Sun energy on the bottom of the deck. Leo, that is your major arcana. And you guys know that. It's also showing up here in kind of what they're nervous about. So that's very interesting. It's like you make them happy. It almost feels like they're afraid to let themselves be happy or explore that happiness or get their hopes up too high because the way I'm seeing it in this challenge place over here, but we'll talk about that when we get to that. Regardless though, with it on the bottom of the deck, for me, bottom of the deck energies are the energies that somebody is feeling that they're aware of that could be affecting the whole entire reading but maybe haven't acted on yet. This person feels like you could be their happiness. There's something about this that has you know caused a bit of a shakeup and yet it's clarified by the fool. For me, Aries and Aquarius energy could be significant, but this is somebody I feel like wants to take that leap, wants to overcome the challenges, wants to explore this and experience this. I mean, I think there's something about you that makes them want to do things that are, you know, I don't know, almost like um, just more spontaneous than they've ever done. It's it's somebody who, you know, wants to take a leap and isn't even necessarily worried about where they're going to land. They just want to experience what it's like to just, you know, to just fly. When you take that leap, it's like for a moment, you're just, I don't know, you're just floating on air and then you have to trust the universe. That's what the fool is all about. is going to guide you and help you land in the right place. But it's almost like they're not even worried. They just want to experience what it's like to be with you. And and yet what they don't like as much is the page of coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is, for me, somebody, you know, taking initiative, doing something. Pages for me are always a little bit tentative, maybe taking a small step. Maybe they don't like doing things in a small way. Maybe they want to do something in a big way. But let's go ahead and see. Sometimes with the page of coins, it can be somebody who only feels like they have just a little bit to offer and they're not sure if they should take a step unless they have more. Spirit, why do we have this page of coins? And my gosh, I just had three jump out from the middle of the deck, bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. And look at this King of Cups peeking out here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. There are feelings. Once again, it's all kind of tucked down here at the bottom of the deck. They feel like you could be it. They feel like you could be their happiness. They want to explore this. They've been thinking about it a lot. They could even be falling head over heels. This is showing up though in kind of a challenge placement. Could be somebody who struggles to open their heart and be vulnerable, which is a big part of falling in love. You gotta be open to it. And I know I've been in that place where I've fallen really hard for somebody and then I was scared if I showed them how I felt, they wouldn't feel the same. And, you know, and yet sometimes you just got to take that chance. We have three cards clarifying the page of coins in what they don't like as much about the connection. We have the moon, the nine of cups, and the knight of pentacles. Pisces energy, strong in both these cards, Taurus for that Knight of Pentacles. Somebody could be feeling some confusion here with the moon. Things are not necessarily as they appear. When the moon card shows up, it's like somebody could be, you know, looking at your social media, your pictures, asking about you, things like that. And what they're getting isn't necessarily agreeing with, they know, with what they know in their heart. It's like something is not as it as it appears or you have been curious about them and trying to find out and there's something that just doesn't seem to match up but with the moon that's when you really need to trust your intuition things might not be quite as they appear it can be a lot of emotion sometimes it can be a little bit of secrecy or somebody holding something in we also have the nine of cups and the knight of pentacles the nine of cups is a wish come true it's happiness, it's good news, and the Knight of Pentacles is somebody very steadily moving towards what it is that they want. This person could be having a lot of emotions, could be, you know, wishing and hoping for you, could be a little nervous that things are moving slowly or if there's been some kind of secrecy or maybe that it's all like in their mind with that, you know, this is all wishful thinking. And yet I feel like regardless, they keep being drawn towards you. I feel like they keep wanting to move towards you. They keep wanting to explore this even though I feel like they are kind of pulled this way and that, like I'm, I'm imagining this, am I making it up? And do you hear, I, like I keep getting all tongue-tied, like somebody wants to talk to you, but when it comes time to say what needs to be said, it's like the words get caught in their throat. 
their highest hopes are the nine of wands. This is somebody who definitely wants to overcome their past, their doubts, their fears, and to take a step and to see this through. Sagittarius energy could be significant. The traditional tarot, this is our wounded warrior. It's like he's, you know, in the traditional tarot, he's broken down, he's beat up by his past, he's been through a battle, but it's like time for the last stand, you know, and he finds all his strength and he takes the ace of wands and he decides, you know, regardless of the past, I'm going to fight for what I want. I'm going to see this through. With this nine of wands, particularly in this deck, this is somebody who's really beginning to rise above it. This, you know, eight wands here for me, it reminds me more of like the eight of wands, communication, forward movement. Maybe there has been a lot going on. Maybe it's even been a little overwhelming. Maybe they do have a lot on their plate, but it's somebody who wants to rise above all that and take that step, take the interest, the attraction, you know, everything they're feeling for you, rise above their past and just move forward. Just see what can happen. They do want to see this through, could want to talk, communicate, express something with this nine of wands, but they're interested in you. They're attracted to you. Even though I feel like it's somebody who could be a little broken by their past, they are wanting to overcome that. We got the two of wands and we got the lovers on the bottom of the deck. It's interesting in the cancer reading I just did, lovers ended up on the bottom of the deck in a similar, similar time. I can't remember exactly when. And here it is showing up right with the four of wands. All these beautiful energies on the bottom of the deck. Gemini, Aries energy could be significant. This is somebody who could really feel like you're it. You're the one. There's no denying it. They could be wanting to take things to the next level with the Four of Wands. Explore this. They're definitely taking taking a moment to decide the next step. We've got the nine of wands clarified by the two of wands. Aries energy could be significant here. That is, you know, for me, two of wands is friendship. It can be a partnership. It can be two people that know each other. It can be a little bit professional. It can be two people that really feel like a match. It can be two people deciding to set out, you know, in some sort of venture together or pursue something. It can also be very romantic. There can be a lot of, you know, if it comes up in a love reading, any card can. There can be a lot of attraction and chemistry. It could be like you two just talk to each other so equally like they felt like they've really met somebody that is a match for them they want to move towards it but for me the two of wands is somebody who is thinking and planning but they haven't necessarily taken that step their deepest fears are the knight of swords and the sun Whenever something really positive comes up in this challenge placement, which is fears, you know, something like the sun, it makes me think somebody's afraid to let themselves experience the kind of happiness that they could have. It, it sometimes it almost feels like a little bit of self-sabotage as well. It's like, especially with this five of cups, like, well, I got my hopes up in the past. It didn't work out. Yeah, this two of cups could be here, you know, but I don't know, like, you know, and yet I want this. I mean, with the 10 of cups, they want this. With the sun energy, and that is your energy, Leo energy, Aquarius here with the knight of swords, they, they, it's you. Like we saw the sun come up with it. They like best about you as well. You were the person on their mind, in their heart. But there's something about this that they are a little bit nervous about. The Knight of Swords is somebody who rushes and maybe they just don't want to rush things. It's like they are, it's almost like they're afraid that if they, maybe they rush things, you know, that maybe they won't end up with the happiness that they would like to experience with you. But let's go ahead and see. Spirit, why do we have the Knight of Swords? And I feel like that's what it is. It's like they don't want to rush in without planning too much, or at least somebody in this connection. And yet they do want the happiness. Yeah, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. They want to do this right. Virgo energy could be significant. This is somebody, you know, who does want to, you know, explore this, put in the energy, see what can happen, see where it can go. But I feel like it's somebody who also wants to do things right. So we're going to go ahead and look at what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. Likely to happen is the Four of Wands, and we saw that show up earlier with the lovers. Now, this is a beautiful energy in what is likely to happen because for me, this is one of those cards in a love reading of taking things to the next level. Aries energy could be significant here, but this can be, you know, going from friends to dating, dating to being exclusive, exclusive to being engaged or even married or wanting something long term. It can be moving in together. It can be building things together, you know, creating things together, partnering up, taking things to the next level. And I feel like there's something so joyful and so happy and so lighthearted about this that I feel like this person, even though they're nervous about getting their hopes up, ultimately you are their happiness and they can't cannot deny that. They can't deny the happiness that they want to experience with you. Let's go ahead and see. 
But with the Four of Wands, I mean, that's pretty clear. Like, this is two people that are going to, wow, get together. Clarified by the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Somebody has put some deep thought into this. I see the Hanged Man peeking out. Pisces energy. Maybe they've even been taking their time thinking this through. Setting intentions. Can't get you off their mind. We've got the Four of Wands clarified by the King of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus could be significant, but the King of Pentacles for me is a beautiful energy when it comes to a love reading. It's somebody who's caring, genuine, faithful, somebody who knows what it takes to see something through. We saw that Knight of Pentacles a lot, which is somebody who's taking their time and planning, but because maybe it's because they want to come forward with this King of Pentacles energy, which is somebody who shows up and shows up to stay. It's like, if I'm going to do this, I want to do this right. So what are they likely to do? Two of Cups. I was almost nervous about that energy because what's likely to happen is so positive. And so then if we got kind of a challenging energy of what they're likely to do, I was thinking, well, then how are we going to get to this? But I don't think I've ever had the Four of Wands and the Two of Cups show up exactly like that in that placement. This is two people that are taking it to the next level. Cancer energy could be significant. We just got into it. We're just getting into cancer season now. I'm recording this during like the summer solstice. So definitely getting into that energy. Something that has been taking its time could be happening here in the very near future. But this is taking it to the next level. And this is somebody who's realized it's time. It's time to take those steps. It's time to show up the way I've always wanted to show up, the way I know I'm truly capable of. You know, Leo is the person. I want to put that time in the energy and the thought and the care because they're the person I want to be with. I mean, that is beautiful. I feel like that doesn't even need a clarifier with that two of cups. Like that is somebody, you know, wanting to take things to the next level. Now, if there has been... Um, now it's a whole handful of cards. Let me see if I can just get one. I did take into, I have like four cards come out my hand. Let's see if we can just get one. Okay. Um, three of pentacles. Okay. And look at this emperor on the bottom of the deck. Whenever I get a whole handful of cards, it's like I always take them into mind, but I just want to get one. Um, but I was thinking if there has been a challenge, we got a tower here when a tower shows up, you know, something's up. Um, I feel like this could be somebody who wants some sort of reconciliation. Obviously, that's not going to be the case for all of you. But with this Two of Cups here, I do feel like it's somebody who wants to come together, make things right. It's clarified by the Three of Pentacles. We'll talk about that in a second. But we've got an Emperor here on the bottom of the deck. Aries energy could be significant. But when the Emperor shows up... There's definitely the energy of somebody feeling more sure than ever, somebody finding their confidence. This is somebody who's determined and somebody who really knows what it takes to see something through. This is somebody who could be feeling more sure than ever that you are the person. We've got the two of cups clarified by the three of pentacles. Capricorn energy could be significant. Interesting that we have the Capricorn full moon happening tomorrow during cancer season. So definitely could be significant. Um, but... The Three of Pentacles for me is a friendly energy, somebody who wants to be around you more, spend more time with you, can be friendly, can be professional, it can be somebody just wanting to, you know, be with you and be around you, somebody that feels like this is something that is worth exploring, that they really do want to show up, maybe in a way that they haven't shown up before, because you're the person in their heart that they feel like is a match for them. I think they could take some steps with that Three of Pentacles to see about, you know, being around you more and spending some more time together. But it's because in their heart, they want to take this to the next level. So what is your advice? Strength card. Be yourself. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the strength card came up in that spot for a Leo reading. That is incredible. I'm so glad I didn't start over at the beginning. I was kind of tripping on my words. There was a little noise in the house that was distracting me. And this is your reading. And I'm so glad I just went through. And I feel like somebody could be feeling that as well. Like they're so glad they found the strength to take the steps, even the times where it got a little confusing or there were some distractions. They just stayed strong and decided to see something through. With this being your advice, this being your major arcana, definitely listening to your heart, being yourself, being authentically you, having the strength to take steps as you feel guided is what is leading you to look at this. I mean, this is this is happiness. This is love and this is the kind of connection that could really go someplace. And all you really have to do is have the confidence to be exactly you.
It's a beautiful message. I love it, Leo. I do hope that something in this reading spoke to every person who was guided here. If you enjoyed it, please put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed, I would love if you would. If you like a personal reading or to connect with me on Patreon for content all month long, my links are both in the description box of this video. Definitely check it out. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon.